Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bass and today we're headed back underwater. We're going to take a look at some really unique Ned Rig baits. Fall is prime time for that finesse fishing. The Ned Rig is a hot bait right now and there are all kinds of new offerings in the bass fishing market. So we're taking nine of the most unique underwater so you guys can have a look. At iCast this year, there were dozens and dozens and dozens of new Ned Rig baits. So how do you wade through that? How do you pick the baits that are actually worth your time? If every single company has one, it can get really expensive. So what we've done is we selected the nine unique offerings out of the mix, just the baits that stood out to us. Unique profiles, better color options, whatever it may be, Today we're headed subsurface with all nine of them so that you can see the actions, how they move, what they do, so you can decide which baits are the best options for you. Now we stayed away from the standard offerings. You're not going to see the regular TRD. You're not going to see the Robo Worm that you already know we love. We're looking at new baits today. Let's head underwater. We're going to start with one from Strike King. Now this first bait, this is Strike King's Rage Ned Cutter Worm. We chose this bait because of that tail. It's got that little rage tail on it. We knew we would get some different action than a standard Ned bait. What's interesting is it still has that great Ned profile. It stands up well, it looks nice, but it has this whole second thing going for it where you can almost call it a swim bait. It swims on the hop, it swims when you drag it along the bottom, but you still get that overall Ned look. It's a really interesting crossover bait that I think is going to have a lot of options. Next up, we have the Yum Ned Minnow. This is an interesting bait because of its profile. We selected this one because of that minnow shape. It's a very different design than any other Ned bait. Most of the Ned baits are that long cylindrical shape. Look at that little bass chasing this thing around. Now this bait didn't have a ton of action. You're definitely going for profile only with this one, but it is a unique look and it does seem to stand up pretty well there are definitely some times where this bait is going to work. Next up, also from Yum, we have the Ned Craw. This bait intrigues me. It's got that really natural craw profile with a lot of appendages, which doesn't always speak to me, but I was surprised by this bait. It stands up well, it moves well, the claws flow, it had some pretty decent color options. I like that size and I think that this bait would actually play really well, not only as a standard bait, but as a bed fishing bait also. Next up, we have the Z-Man TRD Bugs. So this is that Elaztec material. This bait is stretchy, but you get that craw profile or that beaver style profile. This little bait looks great. And of course, because it's Elastec, it floats, it stands up great, it flows really well. I love how that claw opens and closes every time you hop it. It looks really good. And it comes in a ton of Z-Man's best colors. That was a great option from Z-Man. Next up, we're taking a look at Back to Striking, the Rage Ned Bug. A craw profile again, just like that Z-Man, but with those little rage tails. Now I noticed we're only throwing this on a one fifth ounce head. And of course we'll link all that down in the video description. But because of that one fifth ounce head, the bait is not sinking very quickly. So the claws aren't really kicking like a traditional rage product, but it's still an awesome profile. How good does that look with those claws sticking up? Now here we switched over to missile baits. 
This is the Ned Bomb. They came at iCast with a handful of new colors, and they're these dual colors where the tail is a different color. I love that accent. I noticed with this bait that it moves more erratically than every other offering. If your fish are aggressive, I think this is a fantastic option. Something else I noticed with all of these baits, even with the Z-Man products, if you're dragging them, they tend to just move along the bottom. But if you hop them aggressively, like this, they stand straight up. Interesting takeaway. Now what you're seeing here is the Rains R&D Fat Ned Worm. We chose this one because of that unique profile with that large bulbous tail. No question, the second I saw this bait, it reminded me of a dragonfly nymph, something that is so overlooked in bass fishing. If you Google a dragonfly nymph, you're going to see a little bug that is in all of our fisheries that bass absolutely eat. And it looks like this Rains R&D, as well as this next bait that we see here. This is the X-Zone Lures Ned Zone. Little longer, little bit fatter. It's got that bulbous tail. Again, gives me that dragonfly nymph kind of a feel, which I really think is what a lot of fish think they're targeting when they eat a Ned Rig. I like this bait. It stands up well comes in some dynamite colors. Really good choice here from X-Zone. Now, if you're not familiar with them, they've done swim baits for years. Small, small mouth specific swim baits. They're a Northern company, but they've expanded in the last few years. We don't hear a lot about them in the South, but dynamite baits. Last but not least, back to Z-Man the TRD Ticklers. Four little appendages there on the back of that bait and it looks incredible. You get all the benefits of the Ned, of that TRD worm. It floats well, good colors, stands up straight when you're hopping it. But that added movement just seems to make all the difference. I've already fallen in love with this bait just by watching this footage. I love the TRD. I already know how many fish it catches. You do too. It's been doing damage around the country. That ticklers with those added appendages, that was a no-brainer by Z-Man. Well, what did you guys think? Were there baits in there that stood out for you? There were definitely some that stood out for me. Right out the gate, personally speaking, I thought that actual Z-Man ticklers, that one with the four little appendages on the end, looked really good. I've already added that one into my fishing as a result of this footage and have been catching fish on it. But a bunch of them looked really good. That bait from X-Zone, we added that one in because it was a little bigger, had some unique colors, and that's a small company that has been quietly doing big things for a long time. Both of the Strike King offerings I thought looked really, really good. I was very impressed by those. And then probably the other one for me personally was that Missile Baits. It was super erratic compared to all of the others. It was really hard to find a standout, but obviously there are some great options outside of just the standard Ned profile. We all know that the Ned Rig works. It works year round. You can catch giant smallies in spots. You can catch giant largemouth. You can even throw a giant Ned Rig. Z-Man came out with a giant TRD. But the point is, with all those options, it's hard to know where to put your time. So we wanted to show you these baits that were just different because you know that different is good. Standing out from the crowd gets more bites. So after looking at that footage, hopefully you guys found a few that looked good, that fit your style, and will help you catch more fish this fall. Now like every video down in the video description, we'll link all the baits, all the gear to make it really simple for you. You don't have to try and memorize anything when we're flying through it in the videos. 
Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.